Now, please let me introduce you to Matt Bandenthal from Feather Compacting America Latina. No, Feather Compacting America, I'm sorry. Uh, who will now do the presentation in English for you. Matt, please. English, please. Thank you, Stephanie, very much. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you all for joining us here. Uh, good morning to our colleagues and friends in North America as well. I, too, would like to welcome everybody to Feta Compacting's booth here at the 2011 Interpac Show in Dusseldorf. It is with pleasure that I will also continue the initial unveiling of the FE55 tablet press, which surely is Feta's latest and greatest development. As I go through some of the key features that Emerson just described, I would ask that our listeners and viewers keep in mind two key design criteria that FEDA Germany had incorporated into the development of the press. Those are efficiency and the Tri-Easy concept. The Tri-Easy concept focusing on three primary components of machine usage, that being changeover, operation, and maintenance. The first thing that generally would strike a viewer when looking at this press is that its footprint is somewhat compact given the uh, potential output of the machine. The machine will run and operate in three basic modes. You have conventional compression, monolayer compression, with pre-compression and main compression. However, we also now have the option of adding an upper and lower compression station in for products that may be difficult to compress or direct compressible products. So in this case, we would now have what we may refer to as preliminary pre-compression, primary pre-compression, and main compression. And the third and final mode that the machine is capable of operating in is bilayer mode. So the first key innovation that we would like to call attention to is a redesigned filamatic feeding assembly. This is a conical filamatic. And as you can see, you have a straight gravity feed unobstructed from your in-feed on the press to the conical feeder itself. The conical single paddle design improves pre-filling and it actually improves the overall filling cycle for the feeding assembly. That extends to difficult products as well, so it, it serves to facilitate compression across the board. The last design change on the new Filomatic is an ingenious system for easily lowering or raising the actual feeder assembly from the base table on which it is installed. This is a, a very effective and easy way for uh, improving yields, maximizing yields, reducing product loss, and something that will be very easily embraced by setup mechanics and operators. With any table press, especially modern table presses, the heart of the machine is the turret itself. This is another huge improvement with the FE55, and in fact, it is where we see the greatest improvement in overall operating efficiency. The footprint requirements for the machine are only 1.6 meters squared. However, by incorporating Fez PMAX turret technology, along with the use of segments, you can install up to 87 stations on this tablet press. So when you put together the 1.6 uh, square meter footprint and the 87 station turret, it's the most efficient ratio of space requirements to output available today. So with that, I will move to side number two. And we have two other primary design changes, complete redesigns with the FE55. The first, which we can look at on the, uh, the upper assembly here, is the compression station assembly itself. And this, of course, extends to all of the stations installed in the machine. With a greatly increased range of travel on the roll assembly and an automatic parking position, the roll assembly and the compression roll itself can move much higher than it did in the past, eliminating the need for moving to reference marks 
and facilitating to an even greater degree turret removal. This can be done without removing or sliding the compression stations back. Sticking ever more closely to the Tri-Easy concept, this new station design also allows you to remove and or maintain the com not only the compression roll more easily, but also load cell replacement if the load cell needs to be changed. And finally, with an integrated measuring amplifier on the load cell, there's no need to recalibrate in the event of changing that load cell. If we move then directly below, when the FE55 is operated in the bilayer production mode, there is a, a redesigned first layer sampling mechanism. This is a pneumatically actuated mechanism that can temporarily increase the hardness on tablets for first layer samples and go back to normal operating mode in only approximately four and a half seconds total. The adjustment mechanism for changing that range of travel is conveniently located on the front with a calibrated uh, range easily accessible to the operator. First layer samples when compressed are diverted through a corner mounted discharge chute via stainless steel tube. And then moving back to side one and as we follow the logical compression cycle behind the machine through final compression one of the last innovations that we'll call attention to now is the new discharge chute assembly. This discharge chute assembly actually incorporates three separate outlets into one simple, easy to clean mechanism, no tools required. All product contact components within this assembly are also stainless steel. The diversion mechanism for moving tablets in the case either of a sample or an out of specification tablet is achieved via an ingenious cam mounted eccentric diverter. You have all of the discharge units right here and from top to bottom we would have good tablets, sample tablets in the case of tablets that are diverted to be measured for example weight thickness and hardness and rejected tablets. This unit is simple to install and uninstall. When the, when the unit is reinstalled, there is no way for misaligning everything because the three different chutes are made up into one unit. Given the fact that it comes through the corner column, the user actually has the capability of opening and closing all of the access doors without having to remove, disassemble, reassemble any peripheral equipment that may be installed with the machine, as in the case of this new uphill deduster metal check unit, which is the last innovative concept that we'll call attention to now. This unit is the result of a collaborative effort between Pharma Technology out of Belgium and FEDA Compact in Germany. As I mentioned, it's a vibrating uphill deduster metal check unit in one simple unit with plug and play connection to the FE55. The item most notable and worth mentioning is the fact that there is nothing on the floor there are no cables, there are no hoses to trip over for any accumulation of product to have to clean behind. And finally, we have tying all of these efficiency features together and, and once again with, uh, closing out the Tri-Easy concept is a completely redesigned human machine interface panel. As you can see, extremely ergonomic, no crevices, no square and flat surfaces for dust to accumulate on. 19 inch touchscreen, very easily accessible, easy to manipulate with a completely redesigned visual software platform. And at this point, I will therefore turn it over to Herr Bomerwitz, who will prove to you that the FE55 really does make tablets. Come on. So as you can see with the machine itself and on the overhead screen, we're running in bilayer mode. You have a white layer for the first layer, pink for the second, and as the machine comp goes through final compression, it goes through a dust tight chute through the corner column as I described a few moments ago into the uphill duster, finally through metal check 
and your finished tablets. And as a final point, if I may, I have to sneak up on Helmet or he'll finish it before I ask him if he can call for a double layer sample. You can see how quickly the pneumatically actuated assembly temporarily increases hardness for the first layer sample, diverts them through the corner discharge for collection and or analysis. And there we are. Helmet wants to do it one more time. So there we go. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. In conclusion, I would certainly like to thank all of you for your time and joining us here at the booth. And for those who have tuned in, thank you so much. We invite everybody who has interest to come join us here in the booth for greater detail. This is just a, a really the tip of the iceberg in terms of innovations with the new machine. And you can also visit us on the website, check out dates at which we will be demonstrating and, and showing the machine in the near future. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, Matt. Thank you, Helmut. Helmut. Um, I hope you enjoyed the presentation. Now, if you have any further questions or would like to know any further details, please join us on the booth. It would be a great pleasure for us. And um, yes, hope to see you. Thank you for your attention. <laughs>